Refurbishing a model traction engine. This is part two, the big clean up. A few years ago, before I sold this traction engine to raise some funds that I desperately needed, it sat on my late grandmother's old sideboard in the dining room. And because the canopy was fitted, it didn't really get very dusty at all. A few years ago, the new owner, who's a friend of mine, removed the canopy and it started to gather dust very quickly because the engine, of course, had been run. And as some of you will know, when you run a model steam engine, they do get a bit oily, then dust sticks to the oil, and very soon the whole thing looks a mess, and that's where I am with this one. The first thing that I had to do was clean up the chimney top cap, and I used some special stuff sent to me by a viewer called Richard from Australia. Here it is. You may be thinking, well, what's so special about that? It's steel wool. But this is extremely fine steel wool, and it's great for cleaning non-ferrous metals. More about this later. I'm currently working on the kitchen table, so I thought it would be a good idea to use a kitchen cleaner. I use this a lot. It's really good. It's flash with bleach. And this stuff is wonderful for cleaning paintwork and woodwork and just about anything that's dirty. And I've just noticed, as I'm sat here voicing over this video, my hands have not been this clean for some time. So here's the plan. I spray this stuff all over the engine, over every part that I want to be cleaned. Then, using a soft paintbrush, I work the flash with bleach into the smaller areas. The best type of paintbrush to use is the one that I'm using. It's got quite long bristles and they're quite soft, so there's no danger of scratching the paintwork. And because these bristles are so long, they can reach the parts that lesser paintbrushes wouldn't reach. The next part of the job is to repeat the first part, spray the engine entirely with more flash with bleach. This, by the way, is not an advert for flash with bleach, and there are many more similar types of cleaners that would probably do the job. Look how this stuff changes colour when it comes into contact with oil or grease. My late mother was a very heavy smoker, and in the end she died. But about five years before she died, aged 86, she moved house. And I used several bottles of this flash with bleach on various items of wooden furniture in a house. Because my mother was such a heavy smoker, a lot of these cabinets were covered in the products of combustion from the cigarettes. And that's when I found out how good this flash with bleach really is. It caused a nice brown sludge to appear on the surface of the cabinets, which was easily wiped off. And suddenly, the wood was a different colour. One thing about this stuff, though, you have to get rid of it all. And in this clip, I'm spraying the traction engine with water. I'm using a similar spray bottle that used to have some carpet cleaner in it, but now it just contains clean water. Underneath the traction engine is one of my daughter Charlotte's pizza baking trays. And this is just catching most of the water and the residue that's coming off the traction engine. If you compare the traction engine now with the way it looked in the first video, you will see a considerable improvement, particularly in the lining. If you're doing a job like this, be careful which solvents you do use because some could actually damage the paintwork. This traction engine is particularly dirty around the chimney mounting, and this is the third application of the flash with bleach in this area. So I sprayed some more on and left it for ages to dissolve the oil and grime. I'm using some of this excellent stuff sent to me by Richard from Australia to clean all the piping and any other parts that I can get to quite easily. I didn't find this wire wool coarse enough to affect the steel parts very much, but on copper piping, it's the best. The cleaning action and the shine that it produces on copper piping is astounding. I would normally use quite a lot of elbow grease and brasso wadding, but then I would have to clean away the residue left by the wadding. But this very fine wire wool is far better than brasso wadding, and I never thought I'd ever say that. The oil and grime around the chimney outlet is a bit of a problem, so as you see here, I'm holding the bristles near the end, which stiffens up the paintbrush and makes it much easier to remove all the grime. And when I wash away the residue using the water spray, you can see how much cleaner it is. On a working model like this one, with many steel parts, it's very important to dry off the steel parts. The other good thing is I'm doing this on the kitchen table, but you may get some opposition to this if you have a wife. I'm getting away with this because my wife lives a couple of miles away, but you may not. I've turned the traction engine round, and now I'm doing exactly the same at the other side. First of all, apply the flash with bleach, leave it for a while, 
use a paintbrush, etc., etc., and wash it off with the water spray. In this clip, I'm using the wire wool to clean some brass parts, and here I'm trying the same piece of wire wool to clean the wheel, which is rusty. And the fine wire wool is cleaning off the rust, but it's really difficult and it took a long time. I think that 400 grit wet to dry sandpaper would be better for this job. And here I'm using the same principle as I showed earlier, holding the bristles near the end to stiffen up the brush. And this really does remove the most stubborn dirt. I do believe the traction engine is looking more like it did when I owned it previously. In this clip I can see a few parts that I've missed, but then again I haven't really finished it. More flash with bleach I think. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.